Okay, biogas. <laughs> so what we're standing on? Yeah, we are standing on the the bio plant, the biogas plant. And it is made up of two big pots. One is called the the biodigester. The biodigester is this one. This is the biodigester and on top of the biodigester is the tube that takes the biogas to the house. It is there. there are some little insects which love to stay there. That tube, that tube and that is the tap. When it's like that direction it is open and when it is that direction it is closed. And we feed this biodigester from that this is the feeding trap so this is the first place that the yeah. the cow manure goes in yes and so we get the, the the cow manure put it here and we put in water so that you know biodigester can digestion can be faster so when you put there suppose you put like one gel one one wheelbarrow, which is about about um, like ninety pounds. So you you add this equal amount of water, and then you stir and you let it go through here. And come and see how it goes. Through. And you're getting enough um, manure from one cow. You're mm. running the system on one cow. I'm running the system on, I, I used to run it on three cows, but uh, one cow was taken for pass, passing on to another farmer, and then the other cow, we had to sell it recently. So this system could work, R could manage three, between, three cows. is that optimal or one cow works? One cow can work. But you get more gas with three. Yeah, we get more gas with three. And then it also depends on the size of the plant. Yes. Because the dome type of plants that we have in Uganda now. The dome types? Yes. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, can be classified in three. There is one that takes 6,000 uh, cubic meters. Then there is one for 12. And there is one for nine. So this one is the minimal, the smallest, because that's where you have got just three cows, and it is the best for 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 peri urban, or even for the the many of the people who don't have many cows. So maybe a household or a couple of households. Yes, for household, and for zero grazing, because some people are not doing zero grazing. They are doing like open pasture. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So when you have got open pasture, they depend on night stay when they come for night stay. Hmm. Mm, but for us, we can have the dung. Although it is one animal, we have the dung all the time, and it is well corrected. So that's why we opted to have the small nest. And the dome underneath us, under the ground, is made out of cement and bricks and sand. Mm -hmm. The indigenous bricks. Yes. Okay. Like this one. Yes. Yeah. So so this is where we feed it. Then, but on the other hand, we can also use. Uh, we can also use. That is the feeding trough. But we can also feed the the doom. On the human, on the human waste. Okay. Pieces. And this one we can use. We call it a bio toilet. It is under construction. It is here. You can come and see. And this bio toilet goes to the same dome as exactly. the. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It goes to the same dome. So you can feed it. Yeah, you can feed it, but it, you t care must be taken that you don't put in anything that does not get. I mean, that that is not that cannot be broken down like. You don't. You are careful not putting polythene paper, plastics, mm. metal, and things like that. And when people, we only use it in the, for domestic, so that people can use it and then put in little amount of water after they have helped themselves. 
it is a training we gi- we give for use. Yes, and tell tell me about the um, your experience teaching people about the usefulness of uh, human collection. Uh, it has been a very very challenging experience because people have got the attitude that maybe it's not good, maybe it is unhealthy, and things like that. And because of that attitude, it's not um, like when we are training them, we first teach them or train them on the cow. Then after they have used, then we can come in gradually and tell them about this. Uh, I'm saying so because I, ha- I started using um, last August, but imagine up to now, even I, I as a trainer had not started using mm. the bio toilet because I had to train my people, prepare them, then maybe get also the, 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 the money and we started constructing. So I'm hoping that by the time it is August, which is one year, we would have completed the, this one. And when we are telling other people, we are talking from (laughs) experience, Mm. not from just um, what we know. And so this, um, let's see, this system, Mm. this size system, how much to construct this size system? It takes like, I mean, we cannot really count it straight, but Generally, it takes like, um, like let me see, it would be like, five, like five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Between five hundred and seven hundred fifty. Is that with labor? Yeah, include? that is the general, the general thing because we have got a program with Haifa, Haifa Project International, and they train the mansions, and pay them. They, 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 then they also help me as a trainer facilitate me as a trainer, uh, they, they, they meet uh, transport costs for me, and then maybe a small stipend for my work. So, uh, and then in addition to that, uh, they train the farmer, the user also, we train the user, and they also provide the starter cement, some cement, some bags of cement, because like for this one, we used like 20 bags of cement, which is uh, one ton, I think. Uh, when we are using 20 bags of cement, uh, the program, the Haifa program, provided us with uh, with 13 bags, and we had to meet the seven, but they don't include this one. This one comes later. And they also provide, of course, the technical knowledge and they provide the support for use and monitoring the use. Youth? Use, use, use. U-S-E. U-S-E. Oh, the use. Yes, yes. So, um, what are, we've been visiting a lot of different communities with different kind of resources in Kampala. Mm-hmm. And um, I think there's some pretty big communities that I'm not sure what the kind of plumbing the uh, toilet situation is, what is the impact that this could have in urban communities? The toilet? Yeah, the compostable. The, 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 the bio toilet. It has got two, it may have two, two sides. One of them is uh, the positive side. It would have be proper disposal of, uh, of the, the, the feces, the human feces, which which can be very dangerous and causing many diseases if it is not disposed properly. And also, in addition to that, we could also save the water table because in Uganda, our practice has been you dig a pit and sometimes some the pit goes even into the water table and this brings a lot of diseases like typhoid and makes the water, the spring water, unsafe to drink. So it could save that.